there are reasons to have these stops, 15 minute spaces. You just have to wonder about the logic of taking up the only two EV charging spots. <clears throat> so here's a frequent problem with these EVgo two spot spaces, two fast chargers, one level two charger, so three chargers, three EVSE, two DC fast chargers, two spaces, and then the availability of that third plug just makes it all the more likely that uh, someone's going to be camped out there using the level two, and who knows how long that will be, it depends on the car, but someone could decide to charge there for several hours and that's a DC fast charger out of commission in effect. No fault of the, the level 2 user, just the way the site's been put together isn't quite uh, quite right for the current level of usage for DC fast chargers. So one of the problems and the kinks we have to work out <laughs> parking lot which has two level two charge points but the parking spots although they're labeled as EV also can be used for quick stop 15 minute shopping so these two up on the right here both I think taken by non EVs yep so I'll circle around again so we can see, but those 15 minute um, spots allow anyone to park there, so there's no, again, those people aren't doing anything wrong, they're just following the posted limits, but whether or not they stick to being there for 15 minutes, I mean, you can take a guess what usually happens, those guys are there for as long as they can get away with and there's probably unlikely to be any ticketing of paying customers so again you're left with uh, a strange lottery of you drive into the parking lot and you just kind of hope you can you know check on the charge point app and you can see that those two spaces or the the EVSE is free it's not in use but whether or not that means the spaces, the parking spaces themselves, are free is completely another question. And here you can see pretty clearly right up here, neither of these or electric vehicles, so you have the signs there, 15 minute parking or 2 hour charging. But right now there is no charging going to be happening because those guys are in the 15 minute parking period. So let's see, I minutes mean, 12.30, I'm going to stop and have some food, we'll see if those vehicles are, uh, are gone within 15 minutes but I would highly doubt it, and it shows the uh, some of the issues that we're still trying to work out as we figure out how to balance. Okay, so 45 minutes later, post-lunch, taking another look at these two charge point units <clears throat> which are 15 minute quick parking or two hour charging um, and 
if I recall correctly, this Honda, is it, on the left, that's definitely been there, I think, for 45 minutes. The other one, I believe, is new. So, looks like the right-hand spot did free up. And the other point is, who, who knows how long they were there before. That could have been a, uh, you know, an hour or more before that. So they may be having lunch, they may be doing a, a shop in Target, whatever they could be doing. It's something easily you could see someone could hang around here for an hour plus. Um, and if that's the parking spot that you choose, then it's probably not gonna be enforced. I mean, it's hard, it's labor intensive. You'd have to have someone checking those every half an hour or so to to really make that an effective enforcement. So it's tough to really see that being a, um, a thing that anyone would do just to keep two EV spots safe. Okay, so just swinging back here at the end of lunch, taking a look at the mall EVgo site, um, which was the two spots were in use earlier. Um, one for a J1772 and the other a Bolt DC fast charging, we hope. Um, so just interested to see like an hour later what it looks like. End of lunchtime. Let's see, looks like the same BMW, an X5, uh, same BMW is there, so still on the level 2, not sure if that's the same Bolt or not, probably not, the Bolt isn't fast charging, this is <laughs> such a frustrating thing to see, so you have two spots there, one legitimately, you know, in use with the level 2 charger, um, tying up a fast charging spot, but you know, that is the way they've set it up, so that's what's going to be um, that's how it's going to be used but the uh, the bolt sitting there not charging, I mean this is this people using the the EV spots as preferred parking, they're not parking spots, they're charging spots. If you're gonna go into that spot, you need to be prepared to plug in. Um, it's just crazy to see really, I mean, you'd have to be all kinds of entitled to think that you have a privileged parking spot where you can just roll in, take the, uh, take the spot and not plug in. I mean, I don't understand the mentality there. I can't can't put myself in that position because it's not something you would ever do as someone who's been to charges and you know rolled in with five to ten percent battery, needing to charge as quickly as you could. If someone's using it, fair enough. But if someone is just sitting there like this chap who will go by again now, it's. Uh, not good form, not good form at all. You can see that both plugs are out, he's not plugged in. Uh, yeah, it's just those two fast charging spaces. If anyone needs needs to use those, they're out of commission because one, because the planning isn't quite as it should be, and two, because someone has decided that that's their special, special EV spot for special EV owners who 